Hi, my name is Gabe Bauer and welcome to Behind the Bar where we have historic cocktails that are enjoyed every day. Today we're covering the Knickerbocker, a drink that was originally crafted back in the 1860s with rum. Uh, this one we're actually going to go with the Just Cocktails version from the book of which we now know so well. The book that my grandfather gave me, this was published back in 1939. This specific recipe actually calls for gin, so we have a little bit of differentiation from the original. Now this drink is sweet, it's delicious, uh, and we're going to make it here. So this one is going to start out with our martini glass. We are going to pour in two ounces of English dry gin into our shaker. So let me open this up and grab my jig. And we'll pour in two ounces. Now this is a traditionally a shaken drink. Uh, it doesn't give me tons of helpful instructions in terms of whether or not I'm supposed to shake or stir this. And since we're working with gin here and not rum, I think I'm gonna go with stirring this drink since it's so different from the original recipe. Uh, next, we're gonna follow that up with one ounce of French dry vermouth. We'll pour this on in. There we are. And finally, we will finish that up with a splash of uh, sweet Italian vermouth. This will give a little bit of color to our drink as well. There we go. That's a good splash. You could even see it splash there. Uh, now, interestingly enough, some of you may not know, I'm gonna actually grab some ice here, but the Knickerbockers were also the first ever baseball team that was under the more modern rules of baseball uh, around 1845. So I think this particular cocktail was made more in reference to them than in reference to the original drink that was made in the 1860s. Obviously this one comes from 1939. Um, but that team was actually formed back, to, uh, like I said, in 1845 by Alexander Cartwright. So we're gonna just stir to combine here. Because when I think about martini-like gin cocktails, I think about James Bond and how he says shaken, not stirred. But in reality, you want it stirred. You don't want it shaken. We will then grab our strainer here and strain into our glass. Look at that beautiful color. Just a little bit of uh, sweet vermouth goes a long way there. And then we will grab our lemon peel here. Spray some of that delicious oils, and there we go. The Knickerbocker. Beautiful drink. Let's give it a try. That is delightful. That is so smooth. Uh, the, the vermouth is delicious, so flowery. The, the presence of the lemon peel with those oils, when you spritz it and you, you do that little squeeze, that's what you're doing. You're actually releasing some of those oils. It's not like just a mist. Um, but it tastes fantastic, and I can see why this one uh, is a very good one. Very different from the original, but still a very good one. So, there you have it, the Knickerbocker.